Up next, the spring of bling continues on the Harry Homestone Collector's Network. Good news and bad news. Bad news is first is I didn't make the cut for the 2020 uh, Village People Tour for, as the construction worker. They don't want me because, of course, I'm, I'm better looking than the rest of them. So all the attention would go on for me somehow. The good news is, though, here we go. And this, I hope, is the good news. And in the Maryland to the back door of PA, Oxford, to pick up McCoy Pottery. Let's call it, not Roy, but the McCoy Pottery pick. Stay tuned, we'll see what I find. Take pictures of the stuff, do you yeah. care? No, let me see if she has a picture of these people. Oh my God, you got some. She took pictures. And that's the hall. Yeah, she said you had like 30 of them, so yeah. I'd like to see some of the hauls. Okay, well, let me see if she has a picture of them because nobody would know what to take out. And I'm going to take a few of these. That's mine right here, these three. Yeah, you can pick whichever you want. Okay. So my pickups are some books on cookie jars, one haul, teapot, and a bunch of McCoy Happy Face cookie jars. Back at back at the home base, we're going to call this the Friday Quick Pick. Here's the first one. This is the Hall teapot. And it's got its thing in there. It's thingy. So this thing is ready to go. It's a real McCoy, but not McCoy pottery. There is the round circle. I don't know which one's better. That's a 10 cup. That's the 10 cup. Then I I picked up four of these, three of the same. These are McCoys. I don't know which one's older, but there's different stamps. There's the McCoy USA. Hopefully these aren't fake. I don't think these are. And this one's like the older McCoy stamp. I believe this is the older one. The 235 McCoy. If they're fake. Then I just got rooked again. I thought this was really cool. So I grabbed this too. This is the Phillies 1980 World Series thing. I got the, got the World Series ring. I got the tickets. Looks like game two. I've got the banner. I got the program. I got the cover of the Enquirer. I got some cool crap here. So that's a Philadelphia Phillies 80s, uh, whatever you'd call that picture with all the stuff inside. It's kind of cool. Then I ended up grabbing these cookie jar books. Why not? Because I only paid a buck and a quarter for these son of a guns. And they're all hard copies. Hardbacks. So. I know. After I go through these. These are worth way more than a dollar and a quarter each. So. Four cookie jar books. So. Overall I think this was smash. I paid ten bucks a piece for these cookie jars. I know they're worth way more than ten dollars a piece. Or am I just a stinking fool? This is the cookie jar pickup. Plus, uh, there's 40 of these hall teapots that I got. I know she's sending me pictures, and I'm going to decide which ones I want. So, I would say, have a nice day. And later.